writing test cases for a mobile banking application and documenting them on Jira tool. I will explain you some of the important features of the app that would help you create the test cases step by step. As you see, I have created a prototype template of a mobile banking application that displays the page that has some very important features. And as a tester, you must need to know how to test these features step by step and note down the test cases in Jira tool using Zephyr scale. In my previous videos, I covered the basic functionality test cases of the top up feature and pay feature. And if you haven't watched it yet, you can find the links in the description below. Now let's move on to the transfer and withdraw feature of the app. I am using Jira software by Atlassian. You see inside this tool we can create our projects and I have installed Zephyr scale which is a test management tool. So far I have documented the important functional test cases for the other features in Jira for this mobile banking application as an example. Please watch the complete video series to get some idea of how to create test cases and understand the overall scenarios of the application in general. I have to explain the important points in short. Here I am talking about a generic example of a mobile banking application that is under test, right? But when as a tester, you are responsible for testing app like this, you need to go through the requirement document of that particular banking application. You need to understand the user experience point of view while testing the application which is under test. As you can see, I have already documented 19 test cases for the other features using the Jira tool. Now I will proceed to document the remaining test cases for the transfer and withdraw feature. Let's dive into the transfer functionality of our mobile banking app. Whether you are sending money to family, paying bills or managing your accounts, this feature is so important to test accurately. Let's get started. The first test case for this feature we can write it as verify valid transfer. The precondition is the user must has sufficient balance and beneficiary details. Test steps are log in, then navigate to the transfer section, enter beneficiary account details, for example account number, bank, etc. Specify the transfer amount, then confirm the transfer. The expected behavior should be that the transfer is successful and both sender and beneficiary accounts reflect the updated balances. Next is to verify transfer using invalid beneficiary details. Precondition is user has sufficient balance. Test steps are log in, then enter incorrect beneficiary account details, then attempt the transfer. The expected behavior should be that the app should display an error message if beneficiary details are invalid. Verify transfer with insufficient balance. Precondition is user has an insufficient balance, right? Then test steps are login, initiate a transfer and the expected behavior should be that the app should prevent transfers when the sender's balance is insufficient. Next, verify transfer confirmation. Precondition, user has sufficient balance and valid beneficiary details. Test steps are log in, then set up a transfer, confirm the transaction. The expected behavior should be that the app should prompt for confirmation before processing the transfer. Verify transaction limits and restrictions. Precondition is to ensure that the application adheres to transaction limits and restrictions based on account types, for example, daily, weekly, or monthly limits. Test steps are log in, then attempt to transfer an amount exceeding the transaction limit. Expected outcome should be that the app should prevent transfers beyond the specified limits. Next, verify transfer cancellation. Precondition, user has initiated a transfer. Test steps are login, navigate to the pending transfer, then cancel the transaction. The expected behavior should be that the app should allow users to cancel pending transfers. Next, verify transaction history. 
precondition user has completed transfers test steps login then check the transaction history the expected behavior is that the app should accurately display the transaction details including time stamps and amounts next verify transfer notifications precondition user has set up notifications test steps login initiate a transfer the expected behavior should be that the app should send notifications for example sms email to the user regarding the transfer next verify multi factor authentication that is mfa precondition user has mfa enabled test steps are login then initiate a transfer expected outcome should be that the app should prompt for additional authentication for example otp during the transfer process let's now go through the withdraw feature of the app the withdraw function in mobile banking apps provides users the ability to withdraw money from their accounts at atms without needing a physical card this is usually accomplished by generating a one time secure code within the app which the user then inputs at an atm to complete the transaction this feature is particularly useful when a user doesn't have their debit card on hand due to it being lost stolen or otherwise unavailable right Accessing the withdrawal functionality is essential as it directly manages a user's monetary resources and sensitive data. It's imperative to confirm the integrity of this feature for multiple reasons like for security, dependability, core functionality, problem management, etc. Now as you see I'm simply going to my withdraw folder in order to write down my test cases. Let's try testing with the valid withdrawal. That means the account balance should be sufficient and the user or the tester must try withdrawing money within sufficient available amount. So we will write the first test case is to verify valid withdrawal. For this the precondition should be that the user must have sufficient balance in the account, right? The test steps are log in to the mobile banking app, navigate to the withdraw section, then enter a valid withdrawal amount within the available balance then confirm the transaction the expected behavior should be that the withdrawal must be successful and the account balance reflects the updated amount Let's try now invalid withdrawal that means the account balance should not be sufficient so we will write the test case as verify invalid withdrawal for this the precondition should be that the user must not have sufficient balance in the account right the test steps are log in to the app then attempt to withdraw an amount that is greater than the available balance expected behavior should be that the app should display an error message indicating insufficient balance next verify to withdraw an amount exceeding the daily withdrawal limits precondition is that user has a balance test steps log into the app attempt to withdraw an amount exceeding the daily withdrawal limit expected result should be that the app should enforce withdrawal limits and notify the user if exceeded right next verify withdrawal confirmation message before processing the withdrawal precondition is user has sufficient balance test steps are login then initiate a withdrawal confirm the transaction the expected behavior should be that the app should prompt for confirmation before processing the withdrawal next verify withdrawal transaction history precondition is that the user has made previous withdrawals Test steps are login, then check the transaction history for withdrawal entries. Verify withdrawal confirmation timeout. The precondition is user has initiated a withdrawal. Test steps are login, start a withdrawal, then delay confirming the transaction. The expected outcome should be that the app should time out the confirmation process after a reasonable duration. Let's dive into some overall essential test cases related to account security like login and authentication verify that user can log in securely using valid credentials 
यूजर नेम और पासवर्ड और अदर ऑथेंटिकेशन मेथड्स टेस्ट द हैंडलिंग ऑफ इनवैलिड लॉग इन अटेम्प फॉर एग्जाम्पल मल्टीपल फील्ड लॉग इन चेक वेदर पासवर्ड रिक्वायरमेंट्स आर स्ट्रॉन्ग एनफ लाइक लेंथ कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी एक्सेट्रा एंड दैट यूजर आई एंड पासवर्ड्स आर एनक्रिप्टेड एंड स्टोर्ड सिक्योरली नेक्स्ट सेशन मैनेजमेंट एंड लॉग आउट Test the logout functionality and session termination. Verify that sessions expire after a reasonable ideal time. Check for session persistence across app restarts or device reboots. Next, biometric authentication. Verify the effectiveness of biometric authentication methods. For example, fingerprint, facial recognition, etc. Test scenarios where biometric data changes. For example, user updates their fingerprint. Next, lost or stolen devices. Test the handling of lost or stolen devices for mobile banking. Verify that sensitive data, for example, passwords, pins, is masked or hidden. Ensure that unauthorized access is prevented, even if the device is compromised. So these are some important functional test cases for the transfer and withdraw feature of a mobile banking application. You see here are all 34 test cases that I have documented on Jira tool using Zephyr scale. Next I will see you in my upcoming video. In order to keep my video short, I am stopping here now. Like, share and subscribe. Press the bell icon to get notified of my new uploads. Thank you for watching.